All right, so on my new gooseneck trailer again, um, I've got the stuff here. I'm gonna try to modify this uh, handle for uh, raising the, the trailer jacks up and down uh, to where I can use a drill on it. So nothing wrong with this system. It just sucks when you're having the, to crank the, the jacks up and down like this. And uh, just time consuming and aggravating. So let's we'll see if maybe the drill would help. We'll, we'll try that out. But I've got this stuff here. Um, to try to uh, piece something together. So let's see if we can get this going. So the, the crank arm uh, on the gooseneck trailer, it's kind of like a round rod coming out of the jack and it's kind of machined on either side to kind of flatten it out. So it's kind of rounded on the top and the bottom and flat on the side. So you, know, you can see that's round. So when I hammer it on with the sledgehammer, you can see it's kind of, you know, oblong. And that fits up on there pretty good actually. Um, so what I'm gonna do is cut this pipe off cut the threads off of it hammer this basically to the shape that I want on there then I'll thread this bolt into this nut and then we'll weld it in the pipe like this possibly weld the bolt to the nut too so it won't spin around but um, I have this flat washer just in case I need <clears throat> just in case I need a little extra support down here where it's flattened out I'll cut this washer out to slip up on there and then tack weld it so it so this uh, pipe won't stretch or bend. Which I don't think it will because it's um, you know this thicker wall black iron pipe, so I believe it'll be okay. But just in case, so let's get to uh, cutting this thing off. Cleaned up nice, no sharp edges. Let's go uh, test it out. I'm gonna have to hammer it down a little more flat, so we'll just keep making adjustments till we get it fitting the way we want. Not sure if I'll cut it off first. I'll probably just hammer it while it's together, then cut it off. So let's go do that. You can see how it's kind of a little oval shape now. Let's go a little bit farther. Now that's looking better, so let's go try this one out. Looks like it can go a little bit farther. Let's go do that now. So there's just too tight. So we will barely hammer that back out and that should be good. So there we go, fits up on there real nice. Basically all I did was just clamp it in the vise and squeeze it a little bit back that way. But I believe that'll be good. So let's cut this off somewhere and uh, weld it up the way we want it. Believe it'll be good. I ground, um, I cut this off, then I ground it down smooth as well. So, what my plan is here is I'll take this nut and I'm gonna thread this, I believe it's a half inch bolt, into the nut 
upside down. I'll tighten these. I'll tack weld this. I'll set it down in here. And then I'll weld this here, maybe weld that so it don't spin. But once we're done, this is kind of what we'll end up with. And then we can chuck this up in the drill and hopefully spin the that rod for the trailer jacks. So let's do that. rid of that little piece sticking off iron should fit right in there then there we go Let's let that thing cool off and uh, try her out. All right, so check this out. I already filmed this once. My battery went dead on the camera, so here we go again. I got this uh, welded together sloppily, of course. We'll grind some of that off, make it look a little better. But um, so this is in high speed right now. Um, so I can rest the drill against the trailer. Well, here we go again. I'm gonna have to fix that. Ain't these ground? I ground the ground the bolt off so it don't spin inside the chuck too easy. All right, that's high speed, and this has the two speed in the trailer jack, so we'll put that in low. And that's picking the truck up. Yeah, that that actually works really good. Um, so this has a hole drilled in it, which I could have just drilled a hole in this and put a pin through it, which I thought about doing, but I didn't want to waller that hole out. Just keep wallering it out till it broke. I wanted it to actually grab a hold of the flats on that thing. So I'll keep the uh, the handle um, with the trailer that way. Just in case I forget my drill or don't have the drill or the battery goes dead on it, I can still use this, of course. So. But yeah, take it with that. So let's clean this up, see if we can't smooth that bolt up a little bit and um, maybe throw a coat of paint on it, make it look, look somewhat presentable. Yeah, let's do that. All right, so I've uh, got it welded. I kind of filled in where it was not the best and I sanded it with a um, little flapper wheel and uh, the belt sander and then kind of touching up with some uh, 220 grit. Something like that. So now let's paint it. I found a can of black sitting here so it's going to be black. Let's uh, wipe it down with the paint thinner and throw some paint on it. Alright, so wiped it down with paint thinner. She's ready to paint.
Well, I'll paint it in the end of the drill there. Mask the drill off. There we go. Just keep the paint out of there. I about put it on too thick. <laughs> Whoops. Yeah, I see a run trying to come in it. Put her on high. <laughs> Makes it textured. Hmm. If you can see it on the camera or not. I got hammered finish. Yeah, let's call that good enough. Uh, so I popped it out of the drill and threw a little bit of paint on the the bolt sticking up there. So had to just scratch off, but I felt better about it. But yeah. Turned out pretty good. So when she dries, we'll give her a good thorough test. And uh, yeah, I think it'll come in handy. Like I say, I threw the, the normal crank arm into the... Uh, the toolbox on the trailer so at least I got that with me and then can use this uh, probably more or less here you know in case I forget my drill or whatever I at least have this here to dolly the trailer down and hook it back up and stuff so yeah should come in pretty handy all right so uh, yeah let's uh, get on something else <laughs>